King of England, King Bodyart, the extreme Inkite. Bodyart to his friends. He knew he wanted tattoos ever since the age of nine. After spending 600 painstaking hours under the needles and tens of thousands of pounds to cover every inch of his skin, Body Art has now earned himself the title of Britain's most tattooed man. Certain people might have some kind of body issues. This is something that doesn't get talked about a lot. So some people might have a compulsion to be tattooed, so like an OCD. Uh, some people might have a body image, like a body dysmorphia, a rare form of BDD, for example, and not be happy with themselves. But for me, I, f I find pure happiness in an alternative kind of beauty. But the path for body art has been all but smooth. Back in 2009, the tattoo fanatic said he was severely wounded after being stabbed outside a police station in a suspected hate crime. So you've got mainstream society that has an image of what's wrong and right, basically. Uh, and if anyone steps out of that box or that bracket and does anything different, they're practically wrong. I know a lot of people, whether it's just a different colour haircut or one facial tattoo or piercings that can't get work or have been excluded from work and you know they can do that if they've been excluded from work because of what they're doing to themselves and they've done the job let alone trying to get the job that's ridiculous you know people can do this 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 kind of work and they're being excluded because of the way they look it's wrong having dedicated most of his life to altering his appearance body art is now a vocal champion for the legalization of body modification the laws around extreme body modifications are in fact very sketchy and urgently need recessing. Body art says current laws, which date back to the end of the 1800s, must be updated so they reflect modern trends. Body modification in general is not regulated. We are now evolving from tattooing and piercing of breaking the skin and just piercing the skin and injecting ink into it. We're now talking about cutting the skin implanting things under the skin we're doing a lot of things to the body that are very surgical tongue splitting for example very brutal uh, lots of blood it's, it's surgery you know and and the industry is not regulated there's a lot of us that would like it to be insured and uh, you know these people to be regulated um, from their point of view you're going to have to ask them but I, I would definitely think a lot of them would would be happier if there was some kind of qualification that and they were safe doing it because we're talking about laws now from you know, over 100, 150 years that are so outdated they didn't even consider body modification. <laughs>